Good morning guys. I'm using the natural light from the door because it is a bit of a <laughs> gloomy day out Yeah, I just wanted to start vlogging here because it's weekend and I finally was like, okay Let me do something with my life because when I work from home I literally like don't leave the house basically throughout the week very rarely I'll go like supermarket or something like that So today since it's Saturday my godmother is working my cousin just left and I thought like let me do something So I decided to check out this outlet nearby which is about 15 minutes drive So it's gonna be my second time driving in the US alone and I'm not nervous surprisingly like the first time around I was even though I was just going to church like two weeks ago but like today I'm fine it's a bit intimidating the thought that like I'm alone and if something happens I don't know the rules da -da -da. like you know that kind of anxiousness is there but it's not like too overwhelming so that's gonna be fine and yeah I kind of just wanted to show you guys what I'm gonna be doing today I don't know if I'm gonna be doing anything after the outlet. I know I've been talking a lot about shopping in my latest videos and kind of complaining how consumeristic the culture is here and I'm kind of participating in it, but the prices are just so good and I generally try to do very wise decisions when it comes to buying stuff. So like last weekend we went to Nordstrom Rack and it's kind of like this outlet. Well, it's not really an outlet, but it's like reduced priced items. I'm sure you guys know what it is. I bought like black trousers for like 20 bucks when they were originally 80 and I'm like, I'm not gonna pass up on black classic trousers that are $20, do you know what I mean? So I'm trying to buy like staples and unless something really catches my eye, I won't buy anything other than that. So I'm gonna take you guys along. There's a few items that I've been looking for in the last, I would say probably year or so and i still haven't come across them so like i'm looking for a black denim jacket because i think it's such a classic i want like black mom shorts tight shorts don't look good on me i need the mom baggy fit i need them to be high rise and i also want like a gray sweatshirt uh just for home and like just hanging around because i think it's such a staple oh and i forgot to mention i don't know if anyone cares but i saw this video of sophia richard doing her sleek bun and a sleek bun has been my favorite since forever like way before i was probably even crew because like my hair is so thin and flat i would say so it's always been like my go-to style just to, like sleek my hair back i don't like my hair in the face too much it just like annoys me and it gets tangled from the wind and, and dirt like super fast So like I just prefer when it's like away from my face So anyways today I tried Sophia Richie trick which is to tie your hair when it's damp and I've never done that And she basically says it's supposed to feel like a helmet She oils it up puts in like leave-in products and just kind of pulls it back away And it does kind of feel like a helmet I'm not gonna lie because it's still damp and I've put two products in just to hold it a bit together So that there's not too many flyaways I do look like I'm about to go for a dance practice, but if it's good enough for Sophia Richie, it's good enough for me. I'm gonna quickly prepare electrolytes drink I've been trying to consume electrolytes every day because I've just not been drinking enough water I don't know what it is and I can definitely notice difference when I do drink two liters of water when I don't So I'm just trying to work on that just to make sure that you know my body's getting everything it needs But maybe it's because it's not as hot here as in Dubai like in Dubai I don't struggle with this like I just drink two liters of water here I have like one bottle or two at most not good I know but I'm working on it. I put in this liquid IV. It's the first time I'm trying this one I have like so many flavors that I bought and and hopefully it does the job by the way my geographic tongue is back and i'm so annoyed it was a good month or so that it wasn't you know happening and now it's back the moment it starts i feel it it almost feels like your tongue got burned but like severely <laughs> and now i got two spots and i feel them as i speak to you guys right now i don't know if you can tell but that's where the sensitive parts are and it's just changing every hour it's expanding diminishing and it's so annoying i don't know what to do like it comes and goes like there's a month when it's there and then there's a month when it's not there so it's just maybe to do with stress or water i have no idea a little moment to the sponsor of today's video dossier i am so excited to shout out this brand because i've been seeing it all over social media for quite some time now some of my favorite content creators have been reviewing it and i was just so excited to review it myself as you guys know i'm a huge perfume lover and dossier creates super affordable high-end scents and i was just super eager to try some of their famous scents some time ago i even posted my perfume collection so these babies are also going to be going to my collection and I just wanted to quickly tell you what does Dacia do so they create a sustainable perfume and they also have home scents they also have candles and these scents are actually very very famous worldwide so their perfume Ambery Saffron is a very similar scent to Maison Francis Cartier Baccarat Rouge which I own well owned two bottles off and I can't believe how similar the smell is because the second bottle that I bought from Francis Cartier was like $400 I'm not even kidding it was 
was a 200 milliliter bottle so to think that this is like 50 ml and it costs like 50 dollars is incredible i already wore this once and i really like the scent this citrus green apple right here is very similar to dolce gabbana light blue which i used to have when i was like quite young i would say like I don't know like maybe eighth grade it was one of my really go-to scents and this perfume right here is called woody sandalwood i'll just show you up close so you guys can see the bottle this is very very interesting because this is a very similar perfume to le labo santal 33 and if you guys know le labo it is one of their most popular scents and basically the entire new york smells like santal 33 i'm not a big fan when a perfume starts to become super popular so what happened with baccarat rouge now it's been very popular in the last two three years and i bought it myself in like 2017 2016 first time so way before the actual hype and i feel like this perfume um santal 33 is super popular now and i was like i don't like it i don't like even you see i have a test and i have like not use it because i bought some other perfumes in the past from that brand so i was like you know let me just take this test and whatever but i didn't like it and even now recently when i was in new york you know everyone's wearing it but then then i actually received this and i sprayed it and i fell in love i don't know what happened i was like no way no way no way like this it can't be true but then I wore this and the smell is incredible I swear I'm actually gonna put some on now I'm wearing another perfume right now but this smells so good and it lasts the whole day I will leave a link for you guys in the description box below have a look let me know if you end up purchasing anything and how you like it and now enjoy the rest of this video so I'm in the car and ready to go and I wanted to talk to you about something ah, I'm a bit nervous you guys know I recently sold my very first designer bag just because I was like I'm, I don't really use it my values have changed so I'm a bit embarrassed to admit it but I bought a designer bag well a duplicate let me be honest with you so those of you who know know that this is Goyard print and I've been meaning to get this Goyard tote until things have changed in my life where I was like, look, it's stupid to buy expensive designer bags. I don't know, you know my kind of outlook on these things now. And so recently I came across this TikTok where girls were showing their Goyard duplicates and I was like, wow, this looks identical. I can't tell the difference. And unfortunately I fell for that. The curiosity got the best of me and I decided to order one. And if I tell you the price, you were not gonna believe it. The original price of this bag, this tote is 1,800 and I could not justify a non-leather bag for $1,800 so luckily I didn't get one and this bag right here that looks literally the same is $40 and I know I know this is a very taboo topic buying duplicates you know heritage of the brand and history and all those things like I completely understand and I am a bit conflicted internally sharing this like don't get me wrong I have authentic bags I don't think I've ever bought a fake bag before but this is not even a leather bag like even the real deal is not a leather bag so I was just sitting there and I was like thousand eight hundred dollars like i was generally thinking of buying that previously like i wasn't planning as in like oh i'm gonna buy it in six months from now but i, I it's something that i wanted and now i got it for like the millionth of the actual price or something like that you know what i mean and it's such a great quality that is the most confusing part about the whole thing it actually looks like the real deal so i'm taking it for its first spin today it's embarrassing but i do want to be honest that i don't buy our bags just left and right and this is just a 40 dollar bag so guys let me know your thoughts what's your take on the whole like duplicate slash replicas of designer bags and just designer wear in general So I have arrived and it looks like it's gonna be pretty packed because there's a lot of cars in front of me here. I'm gonna start walking around. I'm gonna show you if I see anything interesting. There's like a little market thing happening there in the front. I don't know if you can see those like um, kind of tents slash umbrella thingies. I'm gonna see what they have there. Probably like some DIY stuff, I assume. But yeah, I'm still gonna just check it out. My bun is already out, but it's fine. So here we are. This is the outlet. That's the store that my godmother recommended, but it's men. So this is the map, and these are the stores they have here. I love the wash of these jeans, but unfortunately they're like one size too big, I would say. It's always that issue with me because I have like wide hips, so I need like room here. And I usually like like a straight or like wide 
like fit but then here it's always roomy and i don't know how to like wear it it's so bad but then again when you sit i guess you kind of want to make sure it doesn't cut but still this is not a good size but i do love this wash i've been looking for a good pair of jeans because i have very blue ones or just black but i do want to have a nice pair like this three pairs of Levi's jeans for $60, so $20 each. Are you joking? So the H&M pair that I got, which is different, this is a very light wash, I never had a pair like this, and this is dark blue. This pair from H&M is more expensive than Levi's. Wow, could not believe how lucky I got. So guys, it started raining. I just got to the car, but I managed to visit all the stores that I wanted to go to. It's actually not a very big outlet. Like for me, I've been to much bigger outlets. So maybe, I don't know, for some people it would be like a whole day thing. For me, it was just a few hours. I ended up buying four pairs of jeans. I don't know what's gotten into me. To be honest, I've been looking for some of these jeans, not all of these jeans. For some time, uh, when I was in Nordstrom last weekend with my grandmother, I tried on like also 10 pairs and nothing just seemed right and the sizes were weird, the fit was weird, like just something was not right. And now I tried these on and I was like, wait, this is actually pretty good. Like Levi's, you know, you can be that quality. So the styles I chose were $20 each, so that's incredibly cheap. I don't think I've ever seen Levi's. At that price to be honest and there was another uh, pair which is this gray one and I kind of wanted a gray uh, jean for some time as well I used to have a gray pair many years ago but then I just kind of like I don't know got rid of it sold it something like that sometimes I just get fed up with my clothes so I sell them and so this time I decided to get it again but this is a little bit darker than the shade that I used to have the problem with these ones they were online return so they didn't have any other sizes so this is actually like a little bit too big for me but it is a stretchy kind of type of jean so I thought like you know what it's fine I like the color I like the price I'm just gonna wear it with a belt it's not a big deal and I like high-rise jeans this is high-rise jean and I thought like let me wear it with like some top over it like a long shirt or something so it's not a deal breaker and actually I was thinking while I was walking that this is the exact style I used to buy all the time in the past just high-rise skinny and just yeah like very kind of like snug and the three other pairs that I got today they're very like straight fit like I think I'm just getting older so my style is getting a bit I guess more classy I don't know I mean there's nothing wrong with skinny jeans but like there's just something about the timeless straight jean that is just so beautiful so those are my purchases today so I'm very happy with my purchases four pairs of jeans I actually still need a white pair of jeans as well similar style like this because I have a white fit at home so I just want like a straight one or a skinny one however since the jeans are so heavy I'm so gonna need to buy a third suitcase not like buy but pay for a third suitcase at the airport when I go back because this is like already heavy and all the other things that I bought since I've come here uh, it's really really hard not to shop in the USA I'm not gonna lie but I've been trying to behave as much as I can the only thing is is that I didn't find the items that I was actually really really looking for which is the black denim jacket and the gray sweatshirt I, I walked into a few stores but nothing just seemed what I wanted again it was either the fit or the quality or just something that put me off so I was like mm. so I'll have to keep searching for those if you have any recommendations where I can find a nice black denim jacket or black denim mom type of shorts or gray sweatshirt or a white bag white moon bag those are the four things on my list let me know anyways it was fun I'm starving I only had a protein shake and it's 3 p.m. I'm gonna go home and eat something or I might see if there's a drive-thru nearby maybe get like something here nearby but I'm probably gonna go home and eat something and uh, hope you enjoyed my rambling on about my shopping that's what i'm doing this rainy saturday mm -hmm.